Okay, this little module is to help you determine how to calculate, and so you can see the reason behind it, um, the pH, what I'll call, we'll call this one region 3. This is the uh, halfway point. Now you may not recognize it's the halfway point in a titration if you're given the problem in this manner, but hopefully we'll quickly realize it, and when you do, there'll be a shortcut in this. Uh, so let's wait for the shortcut, and, and then we can go back and apply it. And so you can see how we can do this. All right, what's the goal here? Calculate the pH of a solution by titrating 100 milliliters of 0.1 molar solution of acetic acid. Okay, and then it has a Ka value that's given, and now we've added in 50 milliliters of a similar concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, hopefully you can recognize here that this is acetic acid, okay, and this is reacting with sodium hydroxide or the hydroxide ions. Okay. And this equation of the reacting of the hydroxide with acetic acid then should look like the reverse of a KB expression. Okay? So this should look like a 1 over KB in terms of so this is a much this is a big number. Okay? big number. So that means our step one is to determine the moles and then run a limiting reactant reaction here. So I call the ICIM problem. We want to figure out how many initial moles we have of each and then we react them and then we figure out the, fi uh, the final new initial because we'll have to run an equilibrium problem after that. Okay, so Let's figure out the moles of each reactant. Well, how do we do that? Well, we've got uh, for acetic acid, we have 0 0.100 molar moles per liter times 100 milliliters, that's 0.1 liters. Multiply molarity times volume and you get the number of moles of acetic acid. That's our number that's going to go here to begin with in our problem. 0 0.010 moles. Okay, next we're going to figure out the moles of hydroxide. We can go ahead and assume it's a hydroxide because it's uh, the sodium is a spectator. Okay, 0.1 molar times 0.05. Uh, liters because there's 50 milliliters and that turns out to have 0 0.005 moles. Okay, this reaction has a huge equilibrium constant. You have to react everything up to the living teen reactant. Hopefully you'll recognize that this is actually consuming half the moles of the original acid that we had to begin with. Okay, but it reacts all the hydroxide. We don't have any of that left over. But we have oops, a positive amount for the weak acid, and now we have some weak base in there. And they're in equal amounts. If you recognize that, you can go right to the Henderson Hasselbach and solve this problem. But let me show you and walk through the steps. Normally, you'd figure out the molarity, which is divided by the total volume which would be 0 0.150 liters, okay, 150 mils, are now in the beaker. And so this is where we're trying to figure out our concentration. But it now becomes 0 0.0333 molar. You'll see that this step is not needed, but we're going to go ahead and use it. Since we have a buffer, we can go ahead and use the henderson hasselbach equation, put in the concentration of the base, put in the concentration of the conjugate weak acid, so there we go, and notice it's the same number. Well, when you take the log of 1, that becomes 0, and so you are left with the pH equaling the pKa when you are at the halfway point. So that is our big stunning conclusion and our shortcut that pH equals pKa. So in this problem that is 4.74 
which we got from taking the minus the log of 4, oops, sorry, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. So the shortcut, as soon as you recognize that you're at the equivalence point, you can do pH equals the pKa of the weak acid in your system, okay? The weak acid. And that is how we quickly solve region 3, the halfway point pH calculation.